Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on the Control Panel Utilities Part 3. Today we're going to be discussing utilities that are unique to Windows XP, unique to Windows Vista, and unique to Windows 7. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. So we're going to begin by talking about utilities that are unique to Windows XP. We will briefly touch on each of these utilities that are unique to Windows XP. And the first one is the Add Remove Programs utility. This is the best in utility for removing programs from Windows XP. You can also add operating system features with this utility. The Networks Connection utility is used to modify how network interface cards behave and network connections. The Printers and Faxes utility is used to add or modify printers and their drivers. Then there's the Automatic Updates utility. This is used to modify the behavior of automatic updates. The final utility that we will discuss that's unique to Windows XP is the Network Setup Wizard. This walks the user through the steps to set up a small office, home office network. Now let's move on to utilities that are unique to Windows Vista. The first utility that we will discuss is the Tablets PC Settings utility. This is used for tablets and handwriting recognition can be set here. The Pen and Input Devices utility is used to set stylus and other input device behavior for touch-enabled devices. The Windows Vista operating system added offline files capability, and the offline files utility is used to enable a hosted file to be kept locally. It also establishes the synchronization behavior for when it goes back online. The problem reports and solutions utility checks for solutions to known PC problems and sends reports to Microsoft. Instead of printers and faxes, Windows Vista has a printer's utility that has the same functionality as the printer's and faxes utility in Windows XP. Now let's discuss utilities that are unique to Windows 7. The first utility that we need to discuss that's unique in Windows 7 is Home Groups. It's a simpler method for sharing printers, files, photos, etc. It's only available in Windows 7 and newer operating systems. Windows 7 introduced the Action Center utility. This is used to monitor key security settings. It also includes additional alerts that the user may want to investigate. The Security Center that's available in XP and Vista are their versions of the Action Center. The Remote Applications and Desktop Connections utility establishes and manages quick links to remote applications or desktops. And finally, there's the troubleshooting utility. This contains several other applets that can be used to troubleshoot PC problems. Now that concludes this session on Control Panel Utilities Part 3. We briefly discussed Control Panel Utilities that are unique to Windows XP, unique to Windows Vista, and unique to Windows 7. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I'm looking forward to doing more.